Aldehydes and ketones are different functional groups, to be sure, but structurally they're closely related, and therefore they're closely related in chemistry as well. We often discuss them at the same time because their chemical similarities are extensive, and yet at the same time there are distinct differences. Take a look at the definitions. Aldehydes have a carbon and a hydrogen attached to the carbonyl group, while ketones have two carbons attached. There's one aldehyde that's an exception to this. The smallest possible aldehyde formaldehyde has hydrogens on both sides. And as you'd guess, its chemistry is a little special. But otherwise, aldehydes and ketones have at least one carbon attached to the carbonyl, have no heteroatoms attached to it, only carbon and hydrogen. The carbon atom itself can be a variety of things. So these guys can be alkyl, it can be vinyl, or it can be an aromatic ring, which we call aerial. While the exact identity of what's attached to the carbonyl group, alkyl, vinyl, or aryl, affects the chemistry, the general chemical properties are the same. These compounds are found widely, and I'd like to introduce you to some of the structures and where they come from, what they're good for. Acetone is the smallest ketone that has two methyl groups attached to the carbonyl. It's used as fingernail polish remover, as solvents industrially, as well as other household uses, paint thinner, and the building block in commercial synthesis. A closely related compound is used industrially a lot called MEK, methyl ethyl ketone. You see the ketone carbonyl easily. It's often used in place of acetone commercially because it has a higher boiling point and is easier to work with. This guy also is the compound known as model cement. It actually dissolves and welds plastic together, so plastic parts and model airplanes and cars and so on and so forth are cemented together using MEK. Benzaldehyde is the key constituent of almond flavoring. You see, in this case, it's an aldehyde, not a ketone, because there's a hydrogen attached to the carbonyl. Its close cousin is vanillin, vanilla flavoring. And again, it has the hydrogen attached directly to the carbonyl, which makes it an aldehyde. And acetophenone is an aromatic ketone that has properties very similar to benzaldehyde and vanillin. It's used as almond and cherry and strawberry and other flavoring. You probably are familiar with the smell of camphor. It's used in medications, especially skin medications in athletic preparations. It's got this complex bicyclic structure that actually is pretty commonly found in nature. There's the ketone. Formaldehyde is the smallest aldehyde. In fact, its chemistry is pretty special, and its physical properties are special as well because it has two hydrogens attached to the polar carbonyl group. So there's our definition of an aldehyde, carbonyl with a hydrogen attached. Formaldehyde is used as a preservative. Because it's so toxic, it readily preserves tissue. Many of you are probably pretty familiar with the smell of formaldehyde, which isn't all that pleasant. Its larger cousin, acetaldehyde, has a methyl group instead of a hydrogen. There's the aldehyde functional group. Drinking alcohol is metabolized to acetaldehyde, which, like formaldehyde, is toxic and is in part responsible for hangover symptoms. The body metabolizes acetaldehyde to acetic acid to remove it from the system. Citral is a naturally occurring pair of isomers. Aldehyde functionality here, and the pair of isomers are E and Z. It has a distinct lemon-type scent and is used widely in the flavors and fragrances industry to impart a citrus component. This rather complex-looking aldehyde is called vitamin B6, pyridoxal, and plays a critical role in the synthesis of amino acids. Testosterone is a ketone, male sex hormone along with androstenone, and there are female ketones that are important sex hormones as well, including estrone and progesterone. These guys have complex ring structures that are characteristic of a type of compounds called steroids. And finally, a complex looking aldehyde retinal. Here's the aldehyde functionality. It plays a key role in the chemistry of vision. It's the aldehyde functionality that actually provides a tether to other molecules to uh, impart its physiological properties. So there's a wide variety of structures. They commonly play important roles biologically, either in metabolism or as in disease states or as sex hormones. 
or in other cases, just as flavors and fragrances. And in still other cases, we find that they're used widely commercially. And finally, while I haven't mentioned it, we'll learn that the chemistry of these guys make them very important intermediates in the synthesis of other compounds. This is a very interesting group of compounds. Its chemistry is easily understood by looking carefully at the carbonyl group. And we'll do that.